please welcome tonight's guest. She's a comedian who appears on a topical comedy show. He's a comedian who appears on a topical comedy show. Thank God we're a topical comedy show. Please welcome Ellie Taylor and Ramesh Ranganathan. <laughs> Just say I hate that. <laughs> properly, properly hate that. Mate. The weird thing is, he said I don't know Michael Gove. Yeah, I kind of respect it, you know, because it's it's awful when you try and blag knowing somebody. Do you know what I mean? I, I I have the I have the problem that when I drop off my kids at school, yeah. and I can't remember any of the other parents. And I like just the other week, I was talking to one of the mums there, and I was talking about how I think personal trainers tend to be wankers. And then she told me she was a personal trainer. And <laughs> then I remembered, of course she was, because she told me that the previous week. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so it's just sort of... I think it's quite... I kind of respect it that he sort of admitted. But I find it difficult to believe that he doesn't know him. Do you know what I mean? Well, yeah. well no, cos we, we had a photo with him. He interviewed him, like, six months ago. Here's the photo of him with Michael Gove. They clearly <laughs> know him. <each other. laughs> now, your new TV show, Ranga Nation, yeah. uh, is on. What is it and when is it? Uh, it's on uh, BBC Two on Sundays at 9pm, yep. and it's me and a focus group of people from different walks of life, uh, and we sort of chew over the week's uh, issues, basically. But it's right. sort of... We don't tend to focus too much on politics. It's sort of, like, just general sort of life issues, you know? Right. For like... example, we talked about people showering and whether... Apparently, not everybody washes their legs in a shower. That was a thing we... Yes, yeah, yeah, we had that discussion here a couple of weeks yeah, ago. So yeah, so it's like, um, I deliberately... I, I, in fact, I start with my legs. I'll spend a good 45 to 50 minutes just on the legs, just yeah. to sort of yeah. get a real lather up, and then I'm ready to work on the rest of the body. So that's, that's just how I roll, Adam. Apparently during the night, Nigel Farage was so convinced he was going to win, he turned up early, was really excited, then hid in the toilet after the results were announced and left via the back door. That's not a euphemism, is it? <laughs> No. <laughs> uh, he, yes. No, he did. He, Farage did lose. Um, but, but he was on a lot of the news today. And the thing is, he is he's so watchable. Like, you've, you've been, in a, you've been a, on a show with Nigel Farage. Yeah, I did, I did Question Time yeah. uh, with him. And uh, I, you know, of, of, of all the people on the, that I was on the panel with, he was the one that I disagreed with the most in terms of views. But in yeah. terms of his actual charisma, he's just so... You know, he's... he's Likeable, you know, if you take away the fact of what he's actually saying, uh, he is likeable. Do you know what I mean? He's sort of got charisma about him. And, and he's, he he's talks... like Brooker in that sense. Yes, yeah, super racist. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Fry I, think it's, I think it's part um, of uh, <laughs> uh, um, no, his rhythm, isn't it? It's the way yes. he talks, the well, way well, he talks. Like, you know, when he, first sort of, when he first sort of emerged, when, they, when you were seeing the other, the other major parties talking, they would talk about the NHS and then they would say, you know, uh, we're going to move this funding from here so we yeah. can do more of this and et cetera, et cetera. And then it would get to Nigel Farage and it would go, you know, my auntie uh, was in hospital and she needed an operation and she had to wait for ages. And I just want that to stop. And everybody goes, I understand that. Do you know what I mean? I get that. Yeah. I don't understand the funding chat. Do you know what I mean? This is, this is what I connect with. And so suddenly he was able to sort of connect with a section of the population that felt like they, they weren't getting anything from politics, you know? Ellie, do you find him weirdly watchable? He's like uh, sort of a right-wing George Clooney. <laughs> 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 And the thing is, a few months ago, there was a lot of excitement about Change UK. Re remember this picture of them all in Nando's? I mean, that's going to be sad when they go back and the guy at the front goes, right, just five of you now? <laughs> <laughs> Heat to a Nando's like most of my previous relationships. <laughs> <laughs> the, thing, the thing is, is that, you know, the, the Brexit party narrowly missed out on that Peter by election. And, and, yep. and the thing is about the Brexit party is it's so on message. Do you know what I mean? It's like, you literally, you tick what... You, you don't have to worry about what the party's... It, Policies are. It's just, oh, well, Brexit, Brexit. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's what the party's called. Yeah. Whereas change, that was to vote for things to stay as they are and for us to remain. It's the opposite <laughs> yeah. of what you want. So you sort of go, I want to stay and remain. I vote change. <laughs> uh, that's. <Yeah. laughs> It's, it's, not the, it's not the clearest message, whereas Brexit is just like, it's like going the free chips party or the more sex party. Yeah, that's what I want. 
we, we can we can do it. If I if I knew how to throw a punch, I would. I don't. Know <laughs> What did you make of that video? Well, I thought it was very slick. I, I, I was a bit freaked out because at the beginning of that video, it's yeah. just, he seems to be talking exclusively to Asian people, yeah. but he doesn't allow, he doesn't, they don't ever speak. And I sort of thought, shit, have I been targeted with an ethnic minority campaign video? Like, <laughs> I, I just <laughs> don't know what's going on. But that, that, that move, because they're trying to... Even doorstepping is trying to show him being natural, and then he sort of does that, and he's like, OK, mate, you look like a freak. I, I mean, that's... <laughs> In big health news this week, sweets, crisps and fizzy drinks are apparently going to be sold under cigarette-style plain packaging. Uh, Cadbury, Walker's Crisps and Coca-Cola would have to use a uniform plain design intended to put off customers. How do we feel about that? So, but it's just like... So you wouldn't have, like, a warning, you know, when they have horrible images? Uh, so they wouldn't just, like, be, like... Not yet. ...fat kid on the front of a pack of Walkers. Because <laughs> if they need someone, I'm happy to be a warning. <laughs> Uh, what, what are, we, are we happy with this? Uh, I sort of think it's a bit of like a, a band-aid on the problem. Do you know what I mean? I, I sort mm. of think it, it needs more than that. And the, the truth is, is that, you know, kids will still be able to know it's sweet. Do you know what I mean? You, you sort of need a bit more sort of education. There. I, and I, I don't know, if we're treating it like, like smoking and treating it like cigarettes, what happens if you catch a kid eating sugar? Are you going to buy, like, a thousand chocolate bars and go, right, I'm going to sit in this room and watch you eat every single one of these? <laughs> do you know what I mean? You have to learn a lesson. I mean, are there going to be public service announcements? Don't, you know, don't eat sugar and drive, you might have a crash. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, Mike, you're taking over. <laughs> well, I mean, is this a thing? Like, apparently some countries have laundry, some places have it in the bathroom and some have it in the kitchen. I what? think it makes a lot of sense to have it in the bathroom, but I'm now thinking maybe we should do a switcheroo and put the fridge in the bathroom. <gasps> yep. Yes. When you're having a wee and yep. you really fancy a Miller corner. Right there. Yes. <laughs> I, I like. To, I just think it, it, it. I like it to be in the kitchen because wow. because I eat very messily. Yeah. And so I sort of sit with the family. All of them eat quite disgustingly. We finish our dinner. It's all over our clothes, and we just strip off naked, stick it straight <laughs> in the washing machine, <laughs> and off um, the trough. No. Oh, no, it's fine. That we just keep our washing machine under the desk here. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just coming to the end of the cycle. I put some whites on before the show, and um, I think it's just. Uh... There we go. Yep, cool. Um, oh, well, now everything's pink. <laughs> I swear there were what, all the... Oh, Alex, your Make America Great hat got in the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, the problem is, I wear it so much, it gets dirty. <laughs>